Hey everyone, so in today's video I want to address something that many people don't think about. By the way, she does this every time I make my bed, so let me fix that real quick. But many of you may already know that under federal law, service dogs are classified as medical equipment. So they're under the exact same category as wheelchairs, prosthetic limbs, oxygen tanks, crutches, etc. So I want to address a problem that many service dog handlers deal with and this is the lack of respect that service dog teams receive compared to the respect that others with disabilities receive. So for example, when somebody goes out into public and they have a prosthetic limb, people don't ask why they need it. People don't take pictures of the prosthetic limb. They don't yell across the store for their children to look, and they don't ask for proof that you need it. People also don't tell you that you can't come into their store just because you have a prosthetic limb. So the same goes for any other piece of medical equipment, but it's not the same for service dogs, and that's the issue, because service dogs are under the exact same category as all these other medical equipment, yet they don't receive the same respect. When somebody asks a service dog handler why they have their service dog, it's the exact same thing as asking somebody with a prosthetic limb why they're missing a limb. When somebody comes up and starts talking to petting and distracting a service animal, it's the exact same thing as somebody running up and kicking the crutches out from underneath a disabled person. When people are yelling across the store, telling everyone to look at the service dog, it's the same thing as somebody yelling across the store telling everyone to look at the person with the oxygen tank. When people start taking pictures of somebody who's walking with their service animal, it's the same thing as somebody who's taking pictures of someone because they're in a wheelchair. Why do people respect other types of medical tools, but when they see service dog, they look at it as a type of entertainment for themselves? Somebody would never run up to somebody and tell them that they're lucky for needing a wheelchair, but they feel completely comfortable running up to a service dog handler and saying that they're so lucky that they need a service dog and they can take their dog everywhere with them. Now I understand that seeing a service dog is more rare than seeing a wheelchair, and I understand that service dogs are living beings rather than just tools that people use. They're cute, they're furry, they walk around, they look at you. But that's exactly why the world needs to bring more awareness to what service dogs actually are. Why people actually have them. They're not just cute furry friends that people get to take everywhere with them. No. They're highly trained medical equipment that perform vital tasks to help their handlers live more independent lives. And just because I have a service dog doesn't mean that I'm completely comfortable with people taking pictures of me as I walk by and asking intrusive questions and talking about me and the fact that I have a dog while I'm standing right there. Now, I understand that all of this comes with having a service dog, but just because it's expected doesn't make it any less uncomfortable for me when it happens. Now, I understand that when people videotape me as I walk by, photograph me as I walk by, chat across the store to tell me how cute my dog is, tell their kids to come run up and say hi to my dog. I understand that they're not doing these things to be rude or mean in any way, but that's why I made this video. Not to complain and rant about the issue, but to draw more attention and awareness to the issue that people just don't think about when they see service dog team. People are normally really respectful and they apologize if I ask them to please stop petting my dog while she's working. I think they just get so excited when they see a cute furry friend, they forget why the dog's there in the first place. Don't be afraid to speak up and remind somebody that your dog's working. More often than not, they will understand, they will be respectful, they will apologize, and then you just helped the next service dog team that's going to run into this person in the future. But that was our video today, so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it interesting. Don't forget to subscribe and follow our journey on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!